like Teddy Gray on stuff. Wooshy gives a proper reaction. And now for something completely different. What is good? Come my gang back in the building. Teddy Gray on stuff today. G Mengs at all. The official video. Hopefully the subtitles are available. Everything before and after the rapper Cambodia has been fire. So without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully it's another banger. Let's go, GG. Ew. The tempo already. Nah. Those little, those little. Ding, 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 ding. What is that? Is it a pipper? Piper? What's it called? I don't know. It either sounds like that or a shift telly. Just from that grr, I can hear the bass already. Even when he says like corpse in a bag, he's talking about a body bag, but then he's also talking about the baggers in the money. Ew. Nice. Johnny Dang. I've never heard anybody rhyme Johnny Dang with Jackie Chan. Johnny Dang is, I believe, he's the guy who, or one of the main guys who supplies all of the, the hip-hop and rap celebrities in the USA. He supplies them with their diamonds, their chains. I'm pretty sure that's who Johnny Dang is, right? So obviously the bag there meaning body bag and the money bag. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, obviously I don't like the, the subtitles. Thank the Lord above that they are there. But even from the, the rhyming syllables within the Khmer language I can hear because that it's like that that oh, 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 oh. that syllable has been present throughout. Like there's internal rhyme schemes in this. I'm a bad bad boy. Oi. <laughs> G Mengs has started off strong. <laughs> The flow on this is ridiculous. Like, it's it, it with this beat. There's there's not many flows that you could do. All you can really do is change your cadence. But he's managing to do both. Like he's switching his flows and the 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 tonal shift in between his lines as well is fire. <laughs> No, nah, 
I'm going back for that. He said he shoots, so I asked him, where's your gun? Who's your team? Where are they? <laughs> Do you know what? The only gripe that I've got about this so far, and I know that it's not going to change from now until the end, is the bass. I was waiting for some heavy bass, and there's a little bit present, but it's not it's not as heavy as I'd like it to be. Because what what he's saying, there's certain there's certain like poignant bits that if if a little bit of bass was slapped on there, it would make the bar hit even harder. Do you know what I mean? Ew. This was fire. This might be my favorite G-Meng song so far. This is my favorite G-Meng song so far, without a doubt. Come on, man. And the, the, the bit in the beginning that I thought was going to be like the hook, he never used again. He just repeated it twice in the beginning and never again. And there was that bit about trying to act cool. That bit became the, the hook. Just playing with the form. Playing with the form completely, especially with his vocal tone as well. Completely playing with it. I love that. Very experimental, but, you know, it's it's heading in the right direction for G-Mengs. And the kid's still very young, so he's got an incredible future ahead of him if he continues doing this, you know. This is different. This is very different. This sounds like nothing else that's out right now. So, I don't know. Yeah, very, very good. G-Mengs, absolutely fantastic. As usual, um, never expect any less. However, this... Incredible. Definitely more of this. Tempo was perfect. The vocal changes. Everything about this. Brilliant. So, it's been your boy Teddy Green on stuff. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys soon. Deuces.